Hey what is going on everyone, this is Wicked, long time no see, unfortunately I've been busy with college, but I'm back and today I will show you a brief walkthrough of the latest stable Note 8 port for Samsung Galaxy S8 or C+, brought to you by the incredible Renovate Ice theme. I'm talking about the 2.2 version, which you will see that it can be easily used as a daily driver without a miss. So if you're not familiarized with the Note 8 port stuff, all you need to know is that performance wise the Note 8 being based on Android 7.1.1 is going to run faster than your official 7.0 firmware on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Android 7.1.1 brings some improvements overall but along with these in the past and early stages of development it also came with some major bugs I will discuss during this walkthrough. Anyways in order to install this ROM you will need TWRP. If you don't know what TWRP is or how to install it, check the video in the card section right away. While into TWRP, if you are already running previous Note 8 port from Renovate and you'll have to update by now, you won't need to wipe or necessarily make an Android backup. I'm coming from Android 7.0, so I will have to make an Android backup and wipe my device before. Then go to install and select the zip aroma installer will pop up telling you the changelog and what's new about this release the routing method i would suggest for now is super issue magisk has some occasional problems with losing roots right now i was really happy to see that all the previous settings from the official s8 rom were implemented here including the new csc so choose whatever you like what you prefer the bloat what you want and then the installation will begin Reboot your device and take in mind that during the booting process the phone may auto reboot once. Don't worry, it is perfectly normal. Ok, so my device booted up, I have pulled my credentials in, installed some apps and started to play with it, trying to see if this 2.2 version is worth being a daily driver. I installed a trial theme and activated it forever. If you want to know how to do that, check the video in the card section. The main advantage of this ROM is the ability to customize anything about it. Well at least all you'll need. The app that does all the magic is called Rice Tweaks. Here you'll find tons of customization options regarding the system user interface, buttons, miscellaneous tweaks and a whole new color dedicated area where you can customize everything on the go. I made an entire Rice ROM control app walkthrough showing all its unique features. If you're interested to see every single one of them, check it out in the card section. For a quick little demonstration, I will change the Wi-Fi color to red, just like that, on the go. You won't need a reboot anymore to get things applied and that's really cool. Now one of the most problematic bugs in the past was the camera. Being based on a Note 8 firmware and since Note 8 has slightly different camera hardware, bugs after porting were to be expected. Now I have to say that the entire camera is fully functional. Everything works, video stabilization, camera modes, selfie mode, everything that didn't work is completely working now. Another huge problem was that if you took a picture with an in-app camera, for example the Telegram camera, the image would have been sent totally green. Now, as you can see, it's, this is not the case. Right now, it works flawlessly. Speaking of performance, the most important thing to me is that my phone feels smooth in hand during day-to-day -day usage, not on paper, not on benchmarks, but for the pleasure of seeing some numbers, I will run a CPU Geekbench test and at the end, this is the score I got. I have to mention this ROM is running its own Renovate Dream kernel, which was recently updated. Taking that in mind, gaming wise, as always, I powered up Need for Speed No Limits and as you can notice from the frame rate, the gameplay went pretty smooth, scoring somewhere between 29 to 30 FPS. Being a Note 8 port means that it borrows exactly the same firmware, the same apps from the Note 8. Renovate theme decided to give up on S Pen features for a simple reason, they didn't work properly. And that was a great idea because right now this ROM is fast, smooth as stable as a stock official one from Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. Some features from the Note 8 were left though, like the dual messenger, app pair, edge screen, always on display and so on and so forth. Apart from that, the functions I tested were working properly, so I can sum up saying that this is a really great Note 8 port, totally usable as a daily driver. 
Great work again. Big shout out for the entire Renovate Ice community. Join them on Telegram. I'll put a link in the description as always. Anyways, this was the ROM walkthrough for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and activate the bell icon so that you'll be notified with all my uploads. I'm Wicked and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Get Wicked and on Google Plus at Wicked is here. If you like my video, don't forget to press that thumbs up button. It really helps me. As always, until next time, take care. Wicked is out. Bye bye.